Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna show you how to make Swiss chard. I've had a lot of people say they didn't know how. So here we go. This is coconut spray. And I cut the stems up off the Swiss chard. You want to keep the greenery separate, okay? Go ahead and get this in here because this here takes a little bit longer to cook. And one large clove of garlic. You put that in here. Let that heat up. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, right here is the leaves. I'm gonna cut these up. Cut it up real good. Just rough chop it. Rough chop it. Put it in the bowl. We're gonna set that separate. Make sure you wash your Swiss chard really good. Because this here will wilt down. And then after your Swiss chard um, cooks, then we will add our seasoning. But Last time I cooked it, I put more garlic, but this time I'm not going to put that much. My husband said I put too much. I put four cloves of garlic. All right, here we go. All right. Let me cut the eye on. And really, that would work. All right, look, you got to get that. Let me got the thing ice right there. <clears throat> I told you that. I screwed the ice. I shot about the bus of the ice. Y'all tell y'all deal with, deal with me for a little bit. The ice was messed up. I'm sorry. I'm messing, messing Jerry up. As long as she don't cuss me out. Nah, she don't cuss. I'll let you make her mad. And I'll make her mad right now. But she's a good wife. Best wife I've got. The only one you got. The only one I want. <clears throat> All right, I sprayed my pan with coconut oil, but I'm gonna add just about a oh, tablespoon of olive oil. Do not slip and break it up. I'm just telling you, baby, watch the bowl. And let this cook till this gets really soft. Okay. Let me cut this up some. Now, you can go ahead and add about a half a teaspoon of salt. Up, you guys know me. Just a sprinkle. That's all. And a little bit of red crushed pepper flakes. Not that much. Well, let's get this. Let's get this. All right. 
Now, when it starts to cook really, really good, and starts wilting down, it will be a really good, guys. I promise you, you're gonna love it. And yes, it will kind of turn a little bit of pink because um, the color. But don't worry the color, it will die down a little bit, so don't worry. So hang in there and let this kind of go. All right, hold on guys, I'm gonna put the vent on. Cut this down a little bit. This is where we're adding in our greens, which is the top layer of the fish chard. I'm making a mess. show you what I do with mine. Let me go grab the chicken broth but I don't so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, two bouillon cubes sorry two bouillon cubes don't add too many because um it will make it really salty Get this open. Mm -hmm. 
because this is just a little small side dish. Let me cut the corner off over here. Add some corn going. Um, some cream potatoes I'm just gonna do and I have barbecue chicken in the oven. Get this open. Here. Two cubes. I see it. <clears throat> you want to be careful using the cubes because it can make it too salty. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to kind of get those cubes broke up and dissolved. Hope you guys will try some Swiss chard. And if you don't um, want to use chicken broth, you can use beef broth. Or you can add a little bit of bacon. Your choice. All right, I'm gonna let this kind of cook a little bit. Kind of get this broke up. Can you kind of see? That's Swiss chard. I mean, you guys can see it looks good. Alright, what I'm going to do is I will come back and let you guys see what it looks like um, afterwards. Okay? So, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, guys. The Swiss chard is done. Um, you can take and let it simmer and let some of the broth kind of cook down some. And it's really good, guys. Hope you enjoy. Try it. You'll see how good it is. 